It was Good Friday afternoon, and the old priest wouldn't let me open the confessional door. Hi everyone, this is Father Rocky at the Cathedral of St. Francis Xavier in Green Bay, Wisconsin, with another lesson about the Holy Eucharist in our ongoing Eucharistic encounters as we all prepare for the National Eucharistic Congress in Indianapolis in July of 2024. It was Good Friday afternoon, I'm gonna say 1998. And the pastor of St. Mary's Parish in Akron was an older priest, a very cheerful priest. His name was Father John Hilkert. And the only time he would get upset is when he came back from meetings with priests and the priests were complaining that they didn't get paid enough and they didn't get to retire early enough. It used to drive him crazy, like, why'd you become a priest? I also think he came from a wealthy family, one of those rubber families from Akron, Goodyear or Goodrich or stuff, because he always had homeless people coming to his door and he'd always give them something to help them get to the place where they wanted to go. Well, he got older and I knew he had a heart condition. On Good Friday afternoon, I said, let me can celebrate the services with you on Good Friday because they're kind of demanding, exhausting. And at the end of the service, when everything gets shut down, I said, I'm gonna go back and hear confessions because there's a line back there. He said, I'm going back to hear confessions too. He was 80 years old. And I said, you shouldn't do that. Go back to your rectory and take a nap. No, I'm going. So he sat in one confession on one side of the church. I sat on the other. And after an hour, an hour and a half, I looked out through my window. There was still a line waiting to go to this holy priest, waiting to go to him for confession. So I walked out of my confessional and I walked over there and I wanted to open the door to tell him to take a break. But he kept pulling him back. And when I opened the door, he was covered in blood from a nosebleed because of his high blood pressure. And he didn't want anyone to see him. I said, man, that's the kind of priest I want to be 80 years old, giving to the last ounce of energy and courage to take care of God's people. Where did he get that strength and that generosity? because he worshiped Jesus in the Holy Eucharist. He celebrated mass every day. He made sure every parishioner in his diocese got the anointing of the sick or confession or the viaticum, which is your last communion. These are great stories about great people. Maybe they'll be canonized one day, maybe they don't need to be. But it's a great story we can tell in the Catholic Church. That's why I want to invite you and everyone you know to the National Eucharistic Congress in Indianapolis, July of 2024. Let's all show up for Jesus.